it's um it's really early in the morning uh, like really early we're talking like one o'clock in the morning but um it's uh, storming outside so i'm gonna oh, let's see if i can capture it i probably can't what <coughs> Whoa. what My microphone. Were we, um, were we happier? Were we happier when we were younger? Or do we just look back on times fonder than the future? Because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. It's going to cause us happiness, but we know what caused us happiness in the past. Today is my dad's birthday. Um, he is old. Um, when approaching dates like this, it's so common to think about the past and different experiences you had on that day, if that makes sense. Alexa, lights on. Okay. Okay, didn't, didn't do really. Hang. Still getting a, a hang of, um, I'm trying to make my room smart, but it's not really, I don't know, it's about as smart as me. And I did the B-Tech. What I mean by that, we went to the zoo today. <laughs> And I love going to the zoo. I love going to specifically the zoo, our local one. Yeah, we sponsor some of the animals there. Very important to my family. When I go to the zoo, when I think about going to the zoo, I think about the previous times I've been to the zoo and bringing up other happier memories that I have there. And the question is, you know, that memory before then was the, you know, I have a best time I've been there. I don't know if I'm gonna have a better time <laughs> until I've been there again. For me, I always imagine that as happier. I look back in my Snapchat memories, I get Snapchat memories, I'm like, oh, I, I made more memories. When I was younger, and I find myself, especially now that whenever I'm you know, having conversations specifically with specifically with family, a lot of it is about the past and what happened in the past. A lot of conversation, when you really think about it, a lot of conversation is about what happens in the past. When I'm out with my mates, we're talking about what happened in the past. That's why making new memories is so important. Not you know, it's not just for conversational sake, but for your own mental stimulation. It's so important to, to do new things. I think. Well, that's what I think anyway. I think, you know, that there's no harm in doing the same thing again. Of course, you can make new memories. Was I happier back then is always going to be a question in my mind. And it's always in my mind now. Was I happier back when things were, I guess, normal? My life was normal for it then. My life's changed a lot, and now I'm doing the same thing I did back then. And am I viewing now as, as less fun or less important just because of the context and scenario I'm in at the moment? That's the predicament I'm facing. My life's changed a lot. My life, of course, my life has changed a lot. Uh, I mean, between now and um, the last time I went to the zoo, I mean, the last time I went to the zoo, um, <laughs> I look like this. I'm not sure if you can, hello. I looked like that last time I went to the zoo. I'm very different now. I had hair and I looked different. Certain scenarios were different and changed and, but that's normal, you know, life changes. And that was what, ages ago. And I'm not saying that that time was better for me and I was healthier back then, because I probably wasn't. I, um, I'm just a different person now. So I don't know, I've been thinking about that a lot recently. You know, how what can I be doing different in my life um, to make new memories? I have new things to think about and new things to talk about. Meeting new people and have new stories to tell. And I think it comes with time. I, d I don't know, I can't comprehend physically when I'll be happier or I'll, but is happiness on a spectrum, is it? As a, as a concept, it's so hard to define because it's like, what is, I don't know 
how happy I was until afterwards, in a way. Because there's, there's moments and there's just sporadic moments of lightning and just amazingness and, and, and insane happiness. I mean, I could call it on camera when I, when I got into university. It was, was one of those moments, those, those special moments of just, just unprecedented, just Wow, bang, amazing moments. But like, how often does that happen? You know, that's not an everyday life. And and if I just sit around and wait for those things to happen because they don't usually just happen, it it takes a lot of time and work. And and whether or not I'm predicting it or not predicting it, I can't. I I don't know when that's next high is coming. So I think for me, those days where I remember back in the past, I, I try and make them as relevant as possible. And I think about the little moments that make that. The specific now, the now that I'm living, a new memory. Those little moments, those little differences. So, so my cognitive thought of that location, that space, that time, that specific day, like my dad's birthday, what makes today the special version and what can I take away that's so different? For instance, today that for the first time ever, I saw the anteaters basically up and alive. I've never seen them at the zoo ever before so today that was special the tigers i've always seen the tigers asleep and today because we went at a specific time we went later on in the day and we also walked around the opposite of our normal route that we usually do we saw the tigers probably for the first time in, in years i don't remember seeing the tigers like that since I was a child. So that's a special, specific memory within that memory, like a folder. I, I find anyway that, that when I focus on those little minute details of what makes that so special, I, I start to appreciate those bang, amazing, crazy moments that are probably just around the corner, but I can't comprehend that or I don't know that. So there's no point of waiting for that to happen because if I am just waiting for that, then anything less than that feels like what well, was is, is you know isn't as important i'm a different person life has moved on life has changed if you get so stuck in the past then you can't really look forward to the future well i think anyway this is my own i don't know just been thinking about that a lot but it was a fun day it was a lo lovely way to spend my dad's birthday and now we're about to go see a movie which we're going to go see haunting in venice which I've tried to convince my mum it's in a horror movie, but I, uh, I, I, I think it might be a bit spooky. I haven't been to the cinema in years, and I've missed it a lot, so I'm very much looking forward to this. Ela sempre chega bem vestida, salto alto e sai colorida. Nunca passa despercebida, feita para se apaixonar. 